Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Vibrant Letter Boise by Zaha. So we're gonna go with the presentation first. And this fragrance seems to be really hard for people to figure out what is it a clone of, but um, I think it's like its own fragrance. Um, the cat is magnetic, which for Zara is really good. It, I think the presentation, like not necessarily the style because it's just a squared bottle with the black cap, but like the quality of how it's made, the presentation is really good. And it also shows in the price of the fragrance. It's a Zara, so it's cheap, but for a Zara, it's expensive. So here is the little box. In front it says an elegant fragrance and indelible signature and at the back it says an elegant fragrance where the wood express all their magnificence racy where myrrh labdanum and incense leave an indelible signature and that quote is written by jerome epinette which is the person that made this perfume so that's where the smell. So when I smell it, the first thing I'm picking up is Palo Santo. And if you don't know what it is, it's citrusy woody note or woody note that has citrusy aspect. And it's really, really strong. Like the whole fragrance, what it is, in fact. Picking up some incense. Picking up a little bit, like just a little bit of labdanum, but on paper, it's really hard to pick it up. And that's about it. Actually a really simple fragrance. On my skin, what I'm picking up is a lot of Palo Santo and it's really like really strong, that note. Usually I, I just say that it's like the main note, but it's really the main note. And what I mean with that is that often you're gonna have a note that's the main note, but there's some aroma chemical like that's there. And then there's like the main note, but especially with Zara in fact. But this is like, it is the main aroma chemical. I never smell like Palo Santo essential oil or anything. So I cannot tell you if it's like natural, but whatever ingredient they put seems to be the main aroma chemical. I'm also picking up a lot of incense, a lot of blood denim in the opening. And so I was surprised that I was not picking it up more than that on the paper. And I'm picking up a little bit of leather, but it might be just aspect of the lab denim because it's a leathery note. Or maybe it's the leather accord that have too much lab denim, which actually is a good thing because it's a nice note. And that makes the lab denim appear in the opening. I think that's more what it is in fact. As it dries down, still there's a lot of Palo Santo, still the heart of the fragrance. Then there's a lot of leather and a lot of incense also with that. And as it keeps drying down, there's a little bit of leather and again, a lot of Palo Santo. And before I keep going with the specs and all of the fragrance, I see that there are many people that compare it to different fragrance. And I see one, the one that the most people say it smells like it, and it's Black Afghano by Nasomato. Never tried Black Afghano, but I heard of what it smelled. And in my head, there's absolutely no way that it smelled the same though i might be wrong um but it just doesn't have anything to do with the notes in black afghan there's other fragrance i see dolce and gabbana the one i'd only smell it on paper but on paper it's not smelling at all what it smells on, on it though i would say maybe i will understand it a little bit but for me it seems like this fragrance it's his own thing they might have been inspired by other fragrance but for me it's his own thing it's not a clone of, of anything at least not anything that i ever smelled projection of the fragrance was average in fact was less than average it was more of a skin scent people were able to smell it but really close I see a lot of people that it has a moderate projection or average, so maybe. For me, the longevity was pretty good. I, I saw a lot of people saying that it's bad, but it was pretty good. It was blasting the whole day, like eight, nine, 10 hours, something like that. So from seven to 12 hours, it was pretty good. In the box, before I keep going with the note breakdown, in the box, it says that there is myrrh in it. And one of my favorite fragrance is a myrrh fragrance. And I've smelled a couple of myrrh fragrance, and I can tell you, there's none. It might be inspired by myrrh somehow. There's some resinous aspect that well, maybe somehow can make you think about it, but it's not a note there. So for, for the complete note breakdown, top notes is labdanum. Heart note is incense. 
And the base notes are Palo Santo and Leather. And where would see this fragrance? I think it's nice, it's smoky, it's leathery, more incense, you should say, than smoky. It's really great business fragrance, especially for the price. It's really bold. It's It has all the nice notes you want in a business scent. And it's citrusy also because of the Palo Santo. That's really nice. As a dating scent, I don't think it will be really good. I don't think it will be bad. I just don't think it will be really good. And I, out of the Vibrant Layer line, it's definitely not the best one for a dating scent. In the summer winter spectrum, we better in summer because the projection is not there. And also there's a lot of longevity in the fragrance, so it could evaporate more during summer and still be good. Still have good longevity. It doesn't seem too sweet also. I wouldn't say it's a Zara fragrance, so it's not having like tons of natural ingredient in there, but there's nothing that smells overly harsh, chemically, like some other fragrance could, and especially in summer. So I really think it will be a great summer fragrance, especially if you like leather, woody, incense, those kind of really wintry notes will be really good for that. And as an everyday scent, I don't think it would be like super good, but it wouldn't be bad. It's not that type of fragrance, but you could make it work easily. And also it's a cheap fragrance, it's from Zara and lasts the whole day. So it have pretty much everything except the specific type of fragrance that is made for an everyday fragrance. Overall, I think it's a really great scent from Zara. It seems to be something really original. They did their own thing. They, again, they really probably got inspired by some other fragrance, but they really took their own way. And for what they did, it's a really, really nice fragrance, uh, especially if you like things that are a bit more obscure as a note breakdown. It doesn't have any of those weird things that sometimes they can have. And it's really good. Um, definitely, I see people comparing it to uh, Mansera Cidre Boise that I never smelled. So maybe it actually smelled like Cidre Boise, though it doesn't have the same old breakdown. And even though it's, I highly doubt it smelled like Black like Afghano, maybe. But I think it really has some kind of aspect that we imagine in niche fragrance. It's not a niche fragrance in like what we imagine in quality, but it's really, really bold, especially for a Zara. And I think it should be least smelled and I really hope they keep it because it, it has the potential to become one of the new uh, rich worm addictive kind of fragrance, you know, with the, all the hype it has behind and everything. Really, it's good. You should try it. Maybe not buy the bottle. Again, I said it's bold. So you might not like it, but you should smell it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share if you try this fragrance. Tell me what you think about it. Also, if you're a big fan of Zara or the Vibrant Letter line, tell me which one you really enjoy. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.